Okay, so here we are again. It's week four, and today you're meeting on Zoom with Miss Katie two times, and then me, the, my group will meet with me at 1.30, my homeroom group. Okay, the, I'm talking about the new schedule. And today we're doing reading and grammar with me um, as an independent work, and you'll be meeting with Miss Katie on Zoom for math or other sorts of things. So um, I just want to make sure families understand that this is kind of the idea of what independent work will be for this week as we ease into our new schedule. Padres, estoy diciéndoles que eso es un ejemplo de cómo va a ser un ejemplo de los trabajos independiente. Um, vamos a seguir con el mismo formato de paquete con lápiz, que es muy fácil. Um, y hoy están haciendo trabajo independiente conmigo mientras están en Zoom en vivo con Miss Katie. Y mañana martes uh, va a ser yo en Zoom en vivo y Miss Katie va a tener otro trabajo asignado de trabajo independiente. ¿Ok? Bueno, let's start. Uh, we're doing the red packet again, just like from last week. And you have your crayons and Miss J has her pen, but you have your pencil. And we're sitting up, maybe we're at our kitchen table or a desk, or we're working on the um, clipboard. So please turn to page seven. Page seven, okay? So remember that the numbers are in the top. We did a lot last week. And we're just gonna do page seven today, that's all. So let's open it up. I'm gonna turn it this way, okay? Now my camera, I can maybe zoom in a little bit more if that's better. Okay, so just here at the top, right? Got my pe pencil ready. Circle the word, and just to make things a little bit shorter, I'm just gonna be doing an example per each little box and have the student do the rest on their own. So circle the word that matches the picture, right? We're talking about Match, right? Matching earrings. A match matches the picture. So you look at the images. What do you see? What do you see? What is that? What do you see? What is that? And what do you see is that? Right? So I'm actually going to do this one because this one is interesting. We see something, someone doing something, right? And the word says, at or p at is this person is the person sat or is this person pat wait are they sitting or pat, are they patting they this is someone who s sat right they're they're sitting so it's sat and you can circle the word so we're going to circle the word sat okay and you will do the first two on your own all right here we go moving on with the with the baseball player right baseball this is a complete sentence every sentence starts with capital and ends with a period he, right, we're now, we're now reading together here. He can play ball. And there's a period, right? Let's say it one more time. He can play ball. Now we're supposed to write an X, the, the, the symbol X or letter X here. Let's trace it in the air. Diagonal here and then diagonal here, right? X marks the spot. So we're need to write an X at the beginning of the sentence. Is the beginning of the sentence the period? Is the beginning of the sentence, excuse me, the L? Is that the beginning of the sentence? Where is the beginning of the sentence, okay? You're gonna decide the beginning of the sentence. I'll give you a clue, it might be where the only uppercase letter is and you'll put an X below 
where, where that is, okay? All right, now, this middle part here, we've done a lot where it's just tracing and you guys are practicing your handwriting and you're practicing writing a sentence, but we'll read what it says. Anne, right, it's the name of someone, Anne, it's a name, like Anna by Anne. Anne ran to the sand box. One more time, let's read it together. Finger ready. Anne ran to the sand box. Okay? Now you're going to trace it exactly how it is in, your ne in the most neatest handwriting as you trace this part, okay? All righty. Now we have word family with an. Remember last time we had at last week? S at, right? We had the ats one, ha at. And now we have an, a-n, an. Color the an words green. Ooh. So get your crayons and we're looking for the color green. Okay. Got your green crayon. And now we get a color in the words that end with which? And that end with the letters A N. All right, I see the very first one. Can C A N. Can, right? Uh, drinking out of a soda can right, or a can of soup, or a can of beans, right? K an, K an, I hear the N, okay? So now you're going to continue looking through these words and also color in just like we did here for other words that end in an, all right? And when you're done with that, you're going to put your crayons away be a responsible student, even though we're at home. All right, so let me do something here to maybe help you see a little bit better. Okay, so here we go, this middle box. Write the number that comes before and after. So we did this uh, again last week, like a number line, una, una, una reconomerica, right, where we're counting and there's going to be blanks and we fill in the letter or the numbers so let's count one two three four mm, six mm. what are the two numbers missing and you will write that in all right now Write the number word. So that means last week was we were number, we were writing number five, and five plus one more makes six, six, and there it is six. So here in this box, we just have to spell the number six. Eh, s, eh, s, s, eh, I, x, x, x. Right, just like the box word that ends with an x. And we, we did x marks the spot. So six with the letter x. Excellent. S, I, x. Okay. Then you're going to do tally marks. Okay, and I taught you how to do that last week. So tally marks for what does six look like? And then you're gonna do um, some addition. Six plus one, six plus two, six plus three, six plus four. So you can once again count on your hands or maybe you know these and you will fill in the answer. Okay? And we are moving on now to the last section where it's once again counting those apples in a box. 
Count the total number of apples. Count with me. One, and I'm, I'm using my pencil to help me. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there's that plus sign. So three apples with three more apples makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, our number six. So you will write six in there, okay? Now, I like this one. Count the squares, draw more squares in the box. This is the square that we're counting. And then this is the larger square that will put more than the square we counted. So all together, tell me how many squares this square is. It's one square, one square, one. So now the instructions are in this bigger box to draw more than one square. Do you wanna draw two? Do you wanna draw six? Do you wanna draw seven? Do you wanna draw 27? You could. So you're gonna pick whatever number you want, bigger than one, oopsie. And um, it's gonna go in there, okay? So go ahead and do that. And then last one is, one again about comparing size. It says, this one here with the, with the feathers, color the shorter feather, okay? Miss J has long hair. Is it shorter or longer than yours, right? Shorter wouldn't mean I have to cut it, but it's longer. So just like the feather, look at the feathers, compare the size, one is longer. Let's all do longer and one is shorter. Okay, so you're going to decide and then you get a color in the feather with whatever color you want. And remember, when you're all done with this, you can color in the other, the, the, all the little things if you want, okay? So great job, and now we're gonna move, move on to the orange square packets.